The richest F1 driver of all time possesses a fortune that could launch a fleet of spacecraft into the cosmos and still have enough money left to buy a private island and the world's largest diamond. From the legendary Sebastian Vettel to the indomitable Alain Prost, these titans of speed not only conquered the racetrack but also amassed fortunes that would make your head spin. Can you guess which F1 driver holds the crown for the highest net worth? Will it be a familiar name or a surprising contender? I will reveal the answer to this and much more, so fasten your seatbelts because things are about to get crazy. Let's start the list off with a legendary racing driver and personality, Eddie Irvine. The former Ferrari driver Eddie Irvine not only dominated the track but also accumulated massive wealth during the 1990s. Irvine became a multi-millionaire thanks to the roughly $74 million he earned during his racing career with Ferrari. But what truly sets Irvine apart, even before he entered the racing world, is his unique financial ability. Irvine started out by learning about intelligent property investing. Because of his foresight, he now owns dozens of multi-unit buildings worth tens of millions of dollars. Talk about diversifying your assets, am I right? Moreover, he's now added the glittering world of Hollywood to his resume, which is already rather spectacular. He appeared in films like The Prince and Me and in the British version of The Race. Irvine's entry into show business was an excellent way for him to demonstrate his adaptability and opened up new revenue streams for his rapidly rising fortune. Now that's what I call a true star. When you add all of those adventurous ventures together, Eddie is already sitting pretty with considerable wealth. His net worth is a staggering $120 million due to his success in racing, astute real estate investments, and foray into Hollywood. If you thought that was a mind-boggling amount of money, you don't know what I'm about to hit you with next. A number one on this list has made more than five times this much money. But before I get to him, let's move to another driver who took the F1 world by storm by both his skill and charm. Of course, I'm talking about Jensen Button, whose professional life mirrors the ease with which he drives. Button's career and astute financial decisions have helped him amass an estimated $150 million in wealth. You heard me right, fellas. He's among the wealthiest people in Formula One thanks to his racing achievements and endorsement deals with companies like Hugo Boss and Richard Mill. While Button was as focused on his off-track activities as his on-track ones, Alain Prost simply did not care about anything other than pure, unadulterated Formula One action. So imagine my shock when I found out that despite having no interesting gimmicks, he was still able to easily break the $150 million barrier, even though Alain Prost had earned the nickname The Professor for his strategic brilliance on the racetrack. His off-track financial successes are no less impressive. You see, Prost's methodical strategy yielded roughly $185 million in wealth, spanning from racing to astute investments and clever collaborations. But what exactly drove the financial machine behind this racing legend? The rivalry between Prost and the famous Ayrton Senna was fascinating to watch, and it also helped propel Prost's career and bank account. Their heated competition boosted attendance at Formula One events, which in turn led to bigger purses and more endorsement deals. Over the course of his stellar career, Prost won four world championships, a remarkable achievement that brought him not only fame, but also financial success. His purchase of the Ligia Formula One team in the early 1990s using part of his riches was a remarkable investment that reflected his entrepreneurial energy and passion for the sport. And because of his popularity, well-known companies like Marlboro and Renault offered him large endorsement deals. But do you know who else was able to collect hefty paychecks thanks to their unreal commitment to the sport and sheer skill? Nicky Lauda. Not everyone on my list started off with a silver spoon in their mouth like Irvine. Others like Nicky Lauda literally had a rags to riches story to climb to the top of the financial ladder. Not only did he win on the track, but he also won the race to financial security. Along with his racing success, Lauda's business interests also reached new heights, with an estimated net worth of $200 million. Sheesh! Money like that certainly defied the laws of gravity, catapulting Nicky into the upper echelons of F1's wealthiest superstars. Thanks to his investments in aviation and successful airline operations, that man was really in love with huge, powerful engines, wasn't he? 
You would think having earned $200 million would put you somewhere on the top of my list, but we haven't even entered the top five yet. So imagine the hundreds of millions of dollars the top dog must have. But don't get too greedy because up next is a close competitor of Ernie's in terms of wealth. You didn't think I would leave out the current world champion from my list, did you? Now, it's not just Max Verstappen's wicked skills behind the wheel that make him a cash magnet. The dude knows how to work those business deals and rake in the dough. First off, let's talk endorsements. This guy has scored some serious brand partnerships. I mean, he's hobnobbing with Tag Heuer as their brand ambassador. Talk about class and style. You'll see Max rocking those fancy timepieces like a boss, showing the world that he's not just fast on the track, but also slick in the fashion game. But wait, there's more. Red Bull, Exact, Jumbo Supermarkets, these big names have Max's back, and their fat checks make his bank account dance. It's part of the track. It's like a match made in heaven, where Max's talent meets corporate moolah. Gotta give it to him, this dude's a marketing wizard, expanding his fan base and making it rain. And hey, he's not just blowing his cash on fancy rides and lavish parties, Max knows the game of investing. He's got his fingers in real estate, tech startups and all kinds of ventures. The boy is building an empire beyond the racetrack, securing his financial future like a pro. Thanks to all of this, his current net worth sits at just over $200 million. And the shocking thing is that at only 25 years of age, he is just getting started. You know who else is just getting started on his F1 YouTube journey and needs all your help? I am. Don't be stingy and hit that subscribe button to help me reach my goal of a thousand subscribers. I'm halfway through my list and all five of the drivers I have told you about combined to have as much money as the richest F1 driver of all time. Any guesses on who it might be? Leave them down in the comments below and see if you were right. Now, where was I? Ah yes, I was telling you about a multiple time world champion for Red Bull, who is currently amassing hundreds of millions, and I cannot continue my list without bringing up the great Sebastian Vettel. Nicky and Max may have reached the coveted $200 million mark, but Vettel easily surpassed this mark and went beyond. Of course he did. Not only did he make an indelible impression on the track, but also an enormous dent in his cash account. Vettel etched his name into the annals of F1 history by winning four successive championships with Red Bull from 2010 to 2013. But do you know where else he etched his name? On the titles of massive bank accounts. Vettel's financial success skyrocketed once he left Red Bull and began a new chapter with Ferrari. During his prime, the German racer reportedly earned $40 million per year, but that only whetted his appetite for achievement. Vettel's wages remained healthy at around $15 million yearly after he joined the rebranded Aston Martin squad in his later years. We all know how competitive he can get, so he didn't just stop there. He has also been a master of lucrative endorsement deals away from the track. Companies like Shell and Casio reportedly paid the racing champion a hefty $300,000 per endorsement to have their names associated with his. At the end of his 15-year Formula One career, Sebastian Vettel had amassed a staggering $207 million in wealth. He's not just a racing legend, but a financial powerhouse. At this point, I'm getting kind of bored with these 200 million talks, so let's take it a step further. Moving on, we have Fernando Alonso, all set to blow your mind. And no, that's not an exaggeration. Born in Spain, which is known as the land of passion, Alonso's astute financial decisions and lucrative sponsorship deals have helped him amass an estimated net worth of $240 million, solidifying his position as one of the wealthiest drivers in the world. Additionally, his entrepreneurial endeavors, which include partnering with companies such as Kimoa and Bell Helmets, have catapulted his name into the stratosphere. Now, his arch-rival Kimi Raikkonen may not have always bested him on the track, but he surely handed him a huge defeat off it with his massive paydays. Damn, that must be a hard pill to swallow. Known for his ice-cool demeanor and razor-sharp skills, Raikkonen has accelerated his way into the realm of the mega-rich. With a net worth of approximately $250 million, Raikkonen's bank account has achieved pole position. I know, I know, you're all dying to know how he accumulated such mind-blowing fortune. That is what I'm here to tell you. 
Well, beyond his exceptional driving talent, Raikkonen's financial success can be attributed to his savvy business moves and lucrative endorsement deals. Raikkonen, one of the most famous names in motorsport, has endorsed high-end companies like the Swiss watchmaker Richard Mille. Raikkonen, despite this, does not get rich only from endorsements. His successes in racing have been crucial as well. He's won 21 Grand Prix races and the prestigious World Championship in 2007. Undoubtedly, his ever-increasing fortune can be traced back to the prize money and bonuses he received from his accomplishments and hard work. Now, that much money no, would leave God, any sane please, person no, green with no, envy. Unless, of no. course, you're the legendary Lewis Hamilton, for whom Kimi's earnings are peanuts. But there is one person I will soon tell you about who has earned twice as much as this racing phenom. But for now, let's delve into Hamilton's bank statements. This F1 hero is not only shattering records for the fastest lap times, but also breaking the bank with his staggering wealth. Hamilton's bank account is blazing past the competitors quicker than a roaring race vehicle, with an estimated net worth of $400 million. His annual salary of $40 million is only the proverbial tip of the gold-plated iceberg that is his wealth. Hamilton has taken endorsements to an all-new level. Think of all the major companies like Tommy Hilfiger and Puma vying to work with him so they can bask in his unparalleled star power. His income is catapulted to the stratosphere thanks to the synergy of these collaborations. Not to mention, Hamilton is tearing up racetracks and financial ceilings at the same rate. The checkered flag isn't the only reason for his success. His entrepreneurial spirit is the real race winner. He's not only a quick driver, he's rocketed his money to new heights with his own clothing brand and investments in other businesses. Get ready to have your jaw drop as we uncover the details about the last F1 racing icon and his staggering fortune. We are talking about money here that only a handful of people on earth have the privilege to own. Hamilton may be a seven-time world champion and an F1 legend, but he holds no candle to the one and only GOAT of the sport. Michael Schumacher, who dwarfs him in both achievements and wealth. The astonishing accomplishments that Michael Schumacher had on the racetrack translated into a staggering net worth of around $800 million. That is almost as much as the GDP of some countries. Not only did he leave his rivals in the dust by accumulating a fortune that puts even some Hollywood A-listers to shame, but he also won seven world championships, making him the undisputed champion of the sport. You can have all of the Hamilton vs Schumacher racing debates as you want, but when it comes to pure wealth, there's only one winner, and he isn't from Great Britain. And with that, I have reached the final line of my exhilarating journey through the world of the richest F1 drivers. Remember to subscribe so I can keep pumping out more exciting F1 content for you guys. And make sure to watch my latest video on Young Verstappen's lethal rise to F1.